Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yep, good morning. Uh, it's Uncle Lou here. Uh, yep, what do you want to talk about today? UGA versus North Carolina. Now, Paul Feinbaum, a paid troll, a paid troll, goes on Sports Center this weekend and says with a straight face, uh, <laughs> that UNC is going to beat UGA. Uh, no! No! No way! Now, Paul, what are ratings down? This has to be a fishing expedition, sir. And uh, good news, it worked! It worked! You done got me riled up and a little bit irritated, too. I'm just going to be honest with you. How? Just explain to me how. How? It's not happening. It is, it is not happening. North Carolina steamrolled a pathetic ACC last year. What did they do when they didn't play an ACC team? They lost! For God's sakes, they got beat by one of the worst SEC teams in 20 years in South Carolina. South Carolina beat them last year. Then they run through the ACC, they get to their bowl game, and they get ran up and down the field by something called Baylor! Now, they're still adding up how many yards Baylor had rushing against them. You need like a... You, you need like an abacus, a compass, a protractor, and one of those giant, like, Texas Instrument graphing calculators just to figure out how many rushing yards Baylor had against UNC. Last count was over 600, like 650 yards rushing. What do you think UGA's going to do? Oh, but North Carolina throws the ball around. Hello! UGA has the number one pass defense in the land. So, yeah, North Carolina throws the ball around. UGA's got the number one pass defense. North Carolina's got the worst run defense in the Power Five. UGA's a running team! <sighs> Paul, for somebody that's been around as long as you have, you, 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 I... <sighs> And you, listen to me, Paul. Listen. UGA is something like 19 and 3 against the ACC this century. We're not losing to North Carolina, Paul. Kirby's first game is basically a home game for UGA. It's in Atlanta. There's no way we lose this game. Now, like I said, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, Paul, uh, and assume you were trolling. I'm calling you today. Now, you better let me through. Forget all that stuff from last year I said about Mark Rick. That's over. It's time to let Uncle Lou back on the air. Good morning.